All right, we're going to move on to Amers Sports. Now, this is not a name that most people are very familiar with, including myself, but uh, I know a little bit about them, and I know a lot more about them now, the fact that their profits were up 16%, Mark. That, that's a huge number. They raised the 2025. They raised the guidance. That's another thing. Check mark. That's another really good thing. Stock up about 12 13% today, having a really good start to the day right out of the gate. But when you look at all the various numbers, their tech apparel, that was up 34%. Their gross margins, 55.8%. Across every metric that you could look at, and we've seen more and more of this through this earnings season where they're crushing it out there. So, you know, it kind of makes you feel like, well, where really are we? If they're doing that well and so many different companies are doing that well and we haven't seen too many misses out there, we've seen some for sure, but not too many. It just shows you this has been a really powerful earning season and this name is absolutely rocketing up uh, 12 13 percent today not so bad yeah all a's on this report card certainly pete and i think this is a lot of the reason why a lot of the trader talk is that we are looking at a soft landing you know coming out of this interest rate cycle it's the kind of thing that kind of gave people a reason to say well maybe the fed will do 50 yeah maybe the fed won't do 50 but what's really interesting to me about this is what it says about consumers and specialty retail spending. You know, this is something that we've been talking about a lot all through the summer, even out of last earnings season, where we saw all of those surprise in last round of earnings on the shoe companies like On Holdings. That's a company that's continued to do really well. That stock's been up over the past few days, if I remember correctly. So folks, Notwithstanding that prices remain elevated, people are willing to spend on stuff that they really love. This is a company that makes stick and ball, a uh, racket and ball, I think they call it, uh, sporting goods, uh, also uh, in that category, uh, specialty footwear and shoes. So the shoe, the shoe party keeps going, specialty retail keeps going, and I think that's part of why we're seeing these kind of earnings out of this company.